friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday my friends, it's Friday so it is another weigh-in day. We're gonna talk all about my week, set some goals for this next week, talk about the WW workshop and of course this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and definitely, definitely helps out my channel. Also, if you're new, welcome, welcome, or you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. I do a weigh-in every single Friday, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Check out the description box down below where you'll find my custom 2021 calendar. I know we're almost through the month of January, but it's not too late to pick up the calendar. It is good for the entire year. Track your food, activity, self-care, and even your water. So many of you have purchased the calendar and are loving it and have said that it's been a bit of a game changer when it comes to staying on track in the new year. So while they're still in stock, make sure that you pick yours up. You'll also find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macro and calories. Also, a lot of you have purchased that and several, several of you have reached out and said that you are feeling the best, most satisfied, and you have lost the most weight since I personalized your macros and calories just to you. And a lot of you are doing it side by side with WW, so it makes me so happy that it's been really beneficial for you. So definitely, if you haven't already, have me do your macros and your calories. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support, I do have 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions where we can chat just you and I, and I can give you a little bit more individualized support. So definitely check out my website down below. You'll also find links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things. And of course my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you. Hey, it's free to join. You might as well get the extra support whether you're on WW or not. So without further ado, we've got a way in to do a workshop to talk about, and I definitely want to share with you how my week went. So let's jump in. Let's recap how the week went. So as you know, when I weighed in last week, I was in the middle of my cycle, which you also know is not my favorite time of the month. Luckily that ended about midway through this week. So I was a bit fatigued and tired the first part of the week, but I was able to pick up steam and get back to feeling my normal energetic self the second half of the week. But honestly, I've been feeling a lot better than I've ever felt before. And if you watched Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I'll make sure I link it down below just in case you haven't seen it. I shared with you the Thrive Gut Health Program where you can actually have your gut health tested and then purchase a personalized probiotic for you. You guys, it's been a game changer for me. That is what has really impacted not only my energy, how I feel, how my gut health feels. It's really been such an excellent tool. I'm so happy that I took advantage of that. And in fact, my husband is on board and we have ordered his kit as well. So if you didn't see that in the video or you're interested in having your gut health checked, Thrive is absolutely legit and amazing and they are such a wonderful company. So I'll link them down below for you along with 10% off, but definitely check out Wednesday's video because I go into detail about how I checked my gut health, how it all worked, how I got my probiotics and kind of how I was feeling at that point. So that along with going back to jazzercise have been the highlights of my last week. I am back to exercising three days a week. I have committed to myself that I will go Tuesday, Friday and Saturday, no ifs, ands, or buts, and then I will add in an extra day if it works with my schedule, but I'm loving it. It's been hard. I've been really sore, but I'm loving being back in studio. I'm just re-motivated and re-energized for my workout. So overall, I feel like I had a really good week. Nutrition was on point, my gut and my energy is on point, my exercise. So I was pretty excited to actually step on the scale for this week. But before we jump into that weigh-in, let's talk about the WW Workshop because it's actually a quite interesting one. So this week we talked about celebrating wins. And I love this because I know for me, I don't 
don't always celebrate my wins. I think big picture, big goals, and then I'll celebrate. Instead of really celebrating every small goal and milestone that I hit throughout my weight loss journey. So we're gonna talk about celebrating wins, hitting rewind, and repeating. We're gonna talk about some steps to figure out how to repeat that success. You've had success, you've reached a goal, a milestone, so now let's talk about how you can actually repeat that. Pretend there's a video of you that recorded everything that you did in order to reach that milestone. Mentally rewind that tape and see again the environment you were in, your thoughts, how you felt, and what exactly you did to set yourself up to reach that goal, that milestone, or that success. Based on what you watch, pinpoint exactly what you did so you can repeat. There are four key factors that play a part in being successful, successful in life in general, not necessarily just on a healthy lifestyle journey. Behaviors, environment, feelings, and thoughts are the four key components. So let's talk a little bit about prepping your food, meal prepping, and using that as an example for these four key factors. So the first thing we are going to do is set up our environment. We're going to make our kitchen a place that is conducive to meal prepping and setting ourselves up for success. Your kitchen is clean and organized, so now you're going to make some time after breakfast on Friday to start some meal prep. You're feeling energized and you're excited to get started, so you go ahead and pull up the my fridge portion of your WW app, or maybe you get my meal plan every month. You pull that out and you start to think about what meals you would like to create and prep for the week. Make a list of the meals that you want to prepare based on the ingredients that you have on hand. Now you're ready to get started. Grab some meal prep containers, prep your meals, put them in the container and pop them into your fridge so you're set up for the week. And your win, your milestone, you prepped your food for the entire week on Friday. So you've prepped all your food. So now let's retrace your your steps what led you to set yourself up for success maybe you made time to meal plan maybe you made time to get your kitchen clean and organized you use the what's in my fridge portion of your app or my meal plan and you made a list of what you have on hand and what meals you were going to prepare so which of these things can you repeat next time you need to set a goal reach a milestone or have some success our thoughts, our feelings, our environment, and our actions actually play a big part in what we do and honestly whether or not we're successful. Once we pinpoint what led to our success, we can rewind and repeat. Why reinvent the wheel if you can do what you did before that led you to that success? So I really like this topic. I think it applies to all aspects of life. Like I said, not even just weight loss or healthy lifestyle. It can apply to career, family, household, you name it. So I think it's great to really think about these four key components whenever we're trying to set ourselves up to recreate a success we've had in the past or maybe reach a new goal or milestone. So let's jump into weigh-in. I know that's what you guys are all here for. So like I said, I had a pretty good week this week. I feel really good about how everything went. I'm loving my probiotics. I'm loving jazzercise. I'm loving everything. And when I stepped on the scale for the fourth week in the month of January, I lost. I am down point eight, almost an entire pound. And if you're new here or you didn't know, my goal is to lose half of a pound to a pound a week. I am the turtle. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm definitely eating at a higher calorie level and less of a deficit because I want to see sustainable weight loss. I don't want to lose the weight really fast and not be able to keep it off. So that's kind of the approach that I've taken. I do double track both in the WW app as well as in the lose it calorie counting app and it's been working for me and I'm absolutely loving it. So I looked at the calendar today and realized that there's five weeks in January. So I actually have another week to really lose more weight this month and see a good number for the month of January. So I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna continue doing what I've been doing. I have three workouts planned. I have my meals planned. I'm following this workshop topic and setting myself up for success for another week. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? Was it kind of what you expected? And let me know your thoughts on this topic. Do you find yourself rewinding and rethinking what you did that led you to be successful and repeating? Because I think that's really important. Important. I mean, truthfully, again, in any aspect of life. So definitely leave your comments down below for me. If you're new and you're not yet subscribed, again, I'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. And also don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up. It lets me know to keep putting these weigh-ins out every single Friday as we move into the new year. Don't forget about the calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, including the Thrive Gut Health, test will be down in the description box for you and my Facebook group. Again, we'd love to have you over there as well. Happy Friday, my beautiful friends. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul.
Bye.